Pompey Club de Football are fast becoming one of the best dressed teams in football, but there's just one small detail. They're not actually a football club, they're a Spanish clothing brand. Three friends from school and um, one of my friend's younger brother, we just got together and decided that we wanted to start a brand. You've got talent for this and I think uh, we could do something quite interesting with football kits and I was like, no way, mate, that's impossible. <laughs> in today's video, I interview Cosme Berger, actually, who's the co-founder and designer of Pompey, whose passion for football has now developed it into him collaborating with some big brands like Pasha and Kappa. I play football, watch football, dress football. I mean, I still collect football kits. We go after stuff. When we see, when we when we want something, we we find a way of of getting it done. In his interview, we talk about how he and some friends started Pompeii, his design process, what it's like working with Kappa, and much much more. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Well, thank you for coming on, first of all. I really do appreciate you joining us. Uh, could you reckon you could tell me just a little bit about yourself up front, like, you know, where you're from, that sort of stuff, and like where you got into what you're doing now? Okay. Um, well, first off, thanks for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here as a follower that I am. <laughs> um, where I'm from, uh, it might sound a bit strange to some people because of the accent, but I'm Spanish. Um the thing is, I grew up, I lived in England until I was 10. So I was born in Surrey. I lived in England for 10 years. My parents are Spanish and we moved back uh, when I was 10. I've been living in Madrid ever since. I'm now 32. So time flies quite a bit. But yeah, that's a bit of my intro about, I think, about who I am. I don't know if you want to go into detail about maybe what I do or whatever. Or... Yeah, well, am I right? I'm right in saying you're the co-founder of Pompeii brand, right? Yeah. So, so like how did that kind of get started? Like where did that start and like how did you kind of get into that in the first place? Um well that started now it's nearly 10 years ago so it's quite a long time now. Um we were at uni. I've always been into fashion. I think uh me growing up in England and then moving to Spain helped me in having quite a uh I think I was slightly different to people at my school because I, I had an influence from, from when I lived back in England. And I think it helped me kind of uh, form like my own personality, luckily. And, and I was really into fashion quite quite early on. So I'd always wanted to do something, never really thought that was actually something that was an option because maybe you do think of trying to be a football player, but um, <laughs> of starting your own brand yeah. uh, isn't really on the books. And I was, I was studying business. I had like the options um that were kind of like presented to me here in spain where I, I i honestly i couldn't be asked with 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 what my future looked like so i was like it was just beginning of like instagram was, was starting to to be like quite big with with small brands and it seemed like it was easier to to start something from scratch and and the fact that you saw people doing stuff that that were also young for me it, it, it helped for me to try and try and start this um this uh process and basically we just uh, three friends well four uh, three friends from school and um, one of my friend's younger brother we just got together and decided that we wanted to start a brand then fr obviously from the idea to then bring it to life it's, it's quite it's quite a long process and it's very hard and we i quickly uh, found out i knew absolutely nothing about <laughs> anything related to fashion apart from uh, being a consumer but i really knew nothing about the process manufacturing nothing of how how it works um but yeah that was a bit uh, how we how we started all of this i love that mate i love that it's kind of come from just a group of friends and it's kind of you know you build it up and you build it up and and i'm guessing there's a lot of trial and error involved with that but you know it's it's something very inspiring to be honest mate. i love that kind of, those kind of stories um you said you started in footwear and then it kind of developed into clothing right but then how where did the pivot into football kits come into it yeah no, that's, that's is that there's actually it's it's quite funny because one year before we started Pompeii which was 2014 one of my friends he was the one that came to me and said mate do you want to start a football kit company because I think you have a bit of a uh I can't think of a word but I, I think you've got talent for this and I think uh, we could do something quite interesting with football kits and I was like no way mate that's impossible <laughs> I mean football at that time for me it seemed like it was it was it was just uh I, I just couldn't see it and I was like nah I'm not interested man I can't I can't see that happening and then during this whole process of footwear then we got into clothing we became a lifestyle brand we never really found 
like that universe to create the lifestyle around and it was always because if you're not like if you don't have thing have something like very concrete like uh surfing skateboarding which is like very easy for the consumer to understand like what your brand breathes i think it's, it's quite hard it's quite hard to build something now more and more brands literally it's just streetwear and it's for life but we really wanted to find that something that the like that was re- what was true to us in, in the first instance and then that that really helped like gel the pieces together and I think we started with with the whole football thing um two or three years ago now i think two years ago so it hasn't been that long uh, we designed like our first collection with 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 football shirts inside of it and then from then on we brought in all the inspiration of the brand because we have like a mood board that we, what we call the walking club which we use um we just upload inspiration and stuff like that and sometimes we post some of that stuff on our on our instagram and all of the football stuff that we that we posted worked really really well and we were like there's something here we're not the only guys that like football and like football in their like a nostalgic kind of sense with a certain aesthetic and we're like why not try and bring that to to our brand and obviously there are other big brands that were doing stuff um and yeah and it started then from then on it's, it's been like we did that our collection which was like the introduction all that inspiration that started working we waited a whole year until we did something again and then we did a small capsule for the world cup and from then on we had like the pasha ibiza or kappa well stuff we may go into now but it's like grown quite quickly in the in the past year amazing yeah it's good the the football i feel like the football niche if i, I was the same to be fair with you, when when we were younger it's like football's just this kind of untouchable thing at the top of the mountain and you don't really think too much like you can go and be a part of that um but then like the older you get the more you realize no that you know it's more touchable and i guess as well just with the time at the minute fashion and football yeah. the crossovers are everywhere aren't they so yeah it's um that's so interesting how what team do you support mate if, if you don't mind me asking i'm just interested yeah, I support Athletic Bilbao. My parents oh, nice. are from from Bilbao and in, in the north of Spain, Basque country, and and I support yeah. Athletic Bilbao. Then I'm quite uh, yeah, I support Athletic. The only thing is I'm I I'm really jealous of my friends that live in the same city as the team they support. Like most oh, yeah. most of my friends support Real Madrid, and they go and watch them at the Bernabeu every two weeks. And I'm like, oh man, I wish I wish <laughs> uh, now because I had more of a passion to be honest for i watch all their matches but i had more of a passion for athletic when i was younger now that you i've grown a bit older i'm like i wish i could have like just that go every two weeks and 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 feel that 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 fire that i feel my friends feel and but yeah i spot athletic Bilbao. and then to be honest i'm that kind of guy maybe people don't like too much but <laughs> i like to, for example in the premiership i like teams based on the players that are there at the time uh when i lived in england we supported when i was young everyone supported man united and um i hated that because of because for me most of them's like why it's maybe it's a bit different to here in spain because there's like two big clubs then there's a tesco now but everyone supports like real madrid or barcelona but then you support the club from from your from your city but then for me in the uk for people like from london sport my Man- team from manchester was quite strange so i didn't like well, what everyone says like for me a lot of these people were glory supporters that then started supporting chelsea when bramovich came and all of this and so we supported arsenal because it was like closest from home of the london clubs i'm the youngest of three brothers so basically I did whatever my brothers did. My my brother was in love with Ian Wright. Yeah, he was in love with Ian Wright. I supported Arsenal because of him. But I switched teams when Ian Wright moved to West Ham. So then I started supporting West Ham and I kind of uh, attended. Uh, I actually enjoyed that much more. And I've always now kept in touch, although I'm not. Uh, for me, it depends on the players. Are they Spanish players? I, I follow the yeah. teams. But I really, I'm more of an underdog team type of guy than, than the winning winning team type of guy that might come from bill bow right with that kind of that yeah. atmosphere there no i do love that i yeah. do love bill bow as well like, like you say the whole the homegrown players thing that's insane i, I think that's amazing uh but it's obviously clear that football's always been a part of like your upbringing and that's so okay but it's like wicked yeah. kind of fusing the two uh with, yeah with the role now for me i mean when, when 
going back to like how you, we introduced it into the into the brand i mean football is probably uh i play football watch football dress football i mean i still collect football kits me and my brother every all of our birthdays we give each other a, a retro football kit he's 36 now and we, that's still like the present that we get each other my wife always my wife always says change why don't you get something else don't get him a football shirt he won't i'm like you don't understand i mean it's it's, <laughs> it's a it's a passion like football like the it's something that we really uh, breathe and and we've it's, it's been in our veins like our, our whole life so it made sense to bring it into the brand and try and find like why not try and find a way for that to to live with everything else and now fair play and and that that i guess that kind of brings me nicely to to the kit i'm modeling right now like the the kind the pasha kit you know you talk about you know the it's more than just the game as well it's the culture behind it and and all of that sort of stuff and for this kit comes to mind with that obviously yeah. this is a collaboration with pasha how did this come around mate where did this get started basically we we started to see that pasha has a second account called pasha collection which is basically like their their merch and um we came across it like not long ago i think and for me it had it had stuff that that i thought was quite interesting and the pasha cherries and all the heritage but i thought they could do some of the things better than the way they were doing it and i thought maybe our know-how and fashion and could be interesting uh, for them so we just got in contact with them because we thought we could do something cool together the cherries and ibiza as a as a as a city and the island of ibiza is very global and we thought it could be an interesting opportunity for us Inside of that, once we start working on the collaboration, the collection, what we wanted to put together, um, the idea of the football shirt came along because for me, Ibiza was an opportunity f to have a global stage, a global name like Ibiza you can use and Pasha. Um, it's much easier to go to put a Pasha in big on a football shirt than do it on a T-shirt. Well, you can do it on a T-shirt, but I, I thought it was a, a cool way of... It could be a cool way of um, oh, merging. We came up with we came up with the Ibiza Football Club as concept. Basically, Ibiza has two main clubs in the island, but there's not like one strong one. There's Ibiza Unión Deportiva and Ibiza, Ibiza Islas Pitusas. They're both in third tier now, third and fourth tier. But none of them are really very present. Apart the projects are, are, are good footballing projects, but they're not very present. For example, when you go to Las Palmas uh, to the airport. It's full of Las Palmas football shirts and a lot of tourists buy Las Palmas football shirts. And we thought that the Pasha collaboration, the football with what we'd been doing and we had a bit of a bit of recognition now, we thought to build the unofficial official club of the island could be a really cool opportunity. So we thought let's in your head, obviously, you're like, there's there's something quite interesting here. We can become like the main shirt of the island. All the clubbers that come to Ibiza to then buy their shirt because a lot of people were wearing football shirts down the street on the the day after the night out. So we're like, why not become? Since there's no actual club that's got, got this positioning uh, related with the island of Ibiza, why not be us? So that was a bit of the idea behind all of the Ibiza football clubbers and and um, and designing the football shirt. Uh, the thing is, a lot of times you think about stuff, and then uh, the re the reception isn't that good. This time, luckily, uh, it was great. I love it, mate. Well, I think I love the I love the concept as well. Of like, it's kind of dressing the night out almost, isn't it? It's like this is this is a football kit that is also a fashion piece, and and I love that. And that was what drew to me me to it instantly. Um, and just briefly, like, can we talk about the design? Of course, like, I think you'd already mentioned it to me before about the the kind of the actual inspiration where this comes from. Yeah. Um, well, basically, the pattern that's on on the base of the shirt is an iCat, which is um, a pattern that's been what well, came from I think from Asia, but in the 1700s they brought this to the to the Balearic Islands, mostly Mallorca, but. In Spain, we usually talk of the three islands together, Menorca, Mallorca, and Ibiza. Mm -hmm. And so it's that they still, this pattern is done uh, by artisans and it's still still produced to the date now in Mallorca. And they use it in houses for sofas, for walls, for carpets, for, for lots of stuff. So we thought, obviously, if we're going to present Ibiza to the world, 
um, that was big picture because obviously you don't know if people are going to see it or not. But if we're going to present Ibiza to the world, let's use something that's actually comes from the island and has a real inspiration from the island. And so investigating in the different uh, type of patterns. This is a less common one, but this is one that's, that's that exists. So it's not anything. We haven't invented anything. We basically just took the one that we thought the colorway and 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 that type of uh, checkered image would work very well on a shirt. So basically, that's the pattern that's that we decided to go. And then the rest of the stuff is well, we didn't want to go for a round badge. We used the castle of the city of Ibiza, Ibiza as part of the badge, and then obviously the the football clubbers. The idea was that that instead of Ibiza Football Club, we usually put the football in Spanish as well on purpose to try and maintain that, the essence from from the island and to to show that we're also a Spanish brand. But yeah, we just did that little game of uh, instead of Ibiza Football Club, we'll be the Ibiza Football Clubbers and try to bring like all the clubbing community that uh, Ibiza together through that, that, that shirt. I love it, mate. I love it. I love the attention to detail. I think that's the sort of thing that makes a kit that 20 times better is that just that little attention to detail now um, when i when i look at it man um if i'd known that it it would work because initially we did 50 of these 50 units yeah if i and we did it like quite quickly because we closed the collaboration with pasha in march and we had this in stores in july so that's june july that's a uh, april may june july four months to design it and then produce which is for people that work in this industry, that is extremely sh- short term. So now I look at it, and I'm like, I would have gone for much more attention to detail if I'd known that this this amount of people were going to see it. But still, I think uh, obviously when you're a creative as well, when you look back on stuff, you usually you tend to to dislike most of the stuff you do. <laughs> Mate, don't get me started on that. I can't <laughs> don't watch some of your old videos just for a few yeah. little snippets that look fine, but it's like, oh no, I could have done that. Yeah, that you can go down a rabbit hole with yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but no, amazing. And and we can like we can move from this kit to the new project that's just come out. I think this has kind of been so hyped up, mate, for such good reason. The collaboration with Kappa. Um, firstly, can you tell me how you guys got in contact with Kappa, such you know, such an established brand? It's wicked. Yeah, that's the same. And we're 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 always we go after stuff. When we see when we when we want something, we we find a way of of getting it done. So basically um we had the idea the initial idea was to get in contact with kappa to try and design an actual club's kit with kappa the thing mm-hmm. is that unfortunately it wasn't wasn't an option but we managed to get in contact with kappa iberia which is the the the, the spanish branch of, of kappa and um basically after having a few meetings with them we we decided that we wanted to develop uh the Pompeii football club or club de football um and kappa what they do is you can basically they work at like wholesale you, you can just design a kit and they'll sell it to you and you, and you do the commercial part okay. so that was that was a bit the initial the, the initial um agreement the thing is we said okay we're going to try and design a kit and create the content as good as we can so that you feel forced to to show it on your socials, to to give it a bit of a boost, to buy part of the product, nice. and and that's how it ended up happening. But initially, it was yeah, we're we're quite an established brand here in Spain, so they knew who we were, and um, and uh, we had a very good relationship with the team here as well. So, but but who really decides is the the, the Italy Capo Italia are the, are the ones who really decide. So, um. Basically, we just tried to do as good as a job as we could to try and to try and get that out there because because well, obviously that's what we wanted. I think you've, you guys have done a great job. I think the first of all, the first thing that you've nailed is just a beautiful, beautiful design. I think that's you know the core of anything, and it's it's honestly stunning. What was the kind of design inspirations for that kit this time around? Okay, this time. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the only thing that we knew was we want to use green because that's the the color of the brand that we use on our, on our shops, on our labels, and all of that. And then I want to use a collar because because the idea was this is 
shirt what the same way as the one that you're wearing i've always been more into shirts with collars and then i want this to be a piece that you can wear off the pitch and and feel like like you're not 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 to feel silly in in certain situations yeah so sure. after that the idea was to create um a fict a fict a fictitious club which is Pompey club de football and um the claim of the of the club was the best club best dressed club in the world um so on the whole project we had a pre-match we had pre-match match and post-match collect capsule for absolutely everything obviously that isn't something we could do straight off the bat with kappa and obviously we want to go uh, slowly but surely but we had an idea of how we'd like our players to uh, arrive at the pitch how we'd want them to play and warm up and how we'd want them to be dressed like off the pitch after the match getting onto the bus or whatever and the inspiration honestly is wimbledon the the tennis the oh, tennis really? championships yeah because the the umpires are, but the, the the uniforms that ralph lauren designs for wimbledon uh i thought was obviously trying to make that slightly less preppy but to have a preppy vibe and bring it to, to a more modern aesthetic and not that try and bring that to, to streetwear but that refined streetwear that the i like to call pompeii the idea was to to bring that into the club and the and the Wimbledon uniforms, the ball boys, the umpires, all that mix, um, was a bit the inspiration behind the design. So, um, like the the palette with the blue, white, and green, and and the stripes, and comes a bit from that Wimbledon vibe. I love that Wimbledon, you know, connection there. That's re that's really really cool. Is there any sort of um... Because obviously working with Kappa, is there any sort of like kits that you looked at to be inspired by like actual football clubs from the past? Um, I mean, there isn't like one specific. We knew that we wanted the Kappa tape on the arm. Yeah, iconic, uh, isn't it? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of kits there, like Juventus. There's a Man City kit from back in the day in the 90s as well. So mm -hmm. like we knew we wanted that 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 tape with the Omni that they call it on the, on the on the arms, on the sleeves. But there wasn't like one specific. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff going around. They've done amazing stuff. Obviously, all the Venezia and Athens now, Calithia uh, has an inspiration, I think, in all of us that, are, that are, and a lot of, of what's going on in football at the moment with, with Kappa and all that. Mate, that's amazing. I love it. It's like a bit of a hybrid of all of a lot of things and, and and I think you said it there it's like classy it's such such a classic kit I do love it and I, but just a side note I love the the promo that you guys have done around it the photography and, and everything it's, it's been wicked I, I really really like it moving forward is there anything that you guys you guys have got your eyes on in the future if that you can tell me anyway like you mentioned it there you know designing an actual football kit I'm sure that's a dream but is there any anything else um I mean we've got we've got the Pasha and Kappa were in talks for the, for a second collaboration for next year. So those are things that they're on the table that aren't 100% confirmed, but things we, that we'd like to work on. Cause I think it, for us, it's interesting as a brand to, to give things, um, continuity with, with certs, like the concept of the Ibiza football club is and the concept of the Pompeii football club. Um, and to carry on the, developing that that would be something that we'd like to do with pasha and with kappa we still don't know if that's going to happen or not the other uh, thing that you mentioned the uh, designing of actual football shirt that's uh, an objective for the next year it's also in talks Got nothing 100 percent. can't say what club <laughs> but um that is the that's the main big goal but apart from that we don't really have anything else uh that that would be more than enough to be honest because yeah um yeah we've also got the lifestyle obviously to get to <laughs> yeah design. fair enough mate i mean any club should be honored because what you guys have been doing <laughs> is great honestly i mean that uh thank you so much for coming on the channel i really do appreciate you, your man. time um if, if anyone's watching that hasn't checked these guys out <laughs> check out their work i'm sure you already have but please do uh, i appreciate you joining me mate thank you thank you jamie thanks a lot Take care.